in the previous two videos we have covered uh, operators and uh, the data type conversion so in this video uh, we will be covering the string and the string templates so what is basically a string so a string is a sequence of characters okay uh, so i'll go ahead and uh, make a function in which i'll mention a, a variable a and give it a value this is a coder exclamation mark okay so uh, this is a coder and with three spaces and uh, an exclamation mark comprises uh, the these all character comprises a string okay so remember string is always quoted in double quotes okay and uh, the space and the punctuation are also characters which are part of the uh, string so uh, uh, the first uh, character in the string has an index 0 okay so in this string the t has a character 0 uh, has an index 0 okay so as we move forward with the string so this is a coder uh, the index increases by 1 okay and each and every space and each and every uh, punctuation mark has its own index okay so when i mention the index and the string just one above the other and mention it, it, it in a table so that is called an index table okay so i have just mentioned the part of index table here okay so uh, it's uh, it says that which character has what index okay so uh, in this the c character has a index of 10 okay so this is the basic about string we know we already know how to initialize a string okay so there is also a uh, second method yeah second uh, we can say that it is a second uh, method to initialize a string we can do that string variable b string we we will mention the data type of uh, that string beforehand okay we can do that also so we can define the string in two ways okay so uh, we will be covering uh, most of the string functions in the later part of video but i'll be mentioning one string function in this video uh, that is the length function so uh, remember the a string having index from 0 to 15 has a length of 16 okay it has 16 characters in it including 0 okay so uh, what if i have to uh, like i have a va value uh, i that stores the uh, the store the length of uh, string a so uh, i'll just mention a dot length okay and this uh, this length function measures the length of any string so i'll go ahead go ahead and print the value of uh, i so when i run this program I expect the result to I expect the output to be 16 okay so yeah so the output is 16 so the length of string a is 16 okay so what if I have to uh, mention I have to uh, get uh, the output as the uh, length of the string is uh, 16 okay so i have to print this statement and uh, that value here is i so what i can do is i can uh, go ahead and write a print statement which contains a string that uh, the string is the value of string is okay the value of the, the length of string is so i'll just go ahead and print this okay the length of string and then what i can do is i can uh, in the next line i will mention a println statement and that contains i okay so when i go ahead and run this program what i will find in the output is uh, the output will be the length of string is 16 but it uh, but don't you think it's a bit lengthier 
and there must be a shorter way so you are thinking right so uh, what i'll do here is uh, i can use string uh, function string template here so string template is nothing but a dollar sign okay so what is a string template so uh, while mentioning a string what i can do is i can so i will just mention it print ln yeah so after the uh, mention after the uh, the string i have to put inside the string the value of i so what i can do is i can just put the dollar sign and the i okay when i hover over it uh, it says value very value i int okay so it has the value of i so when i go through this line it will print the string the length of the string is and inside the string it has the value i so before uh, so it does not print the length of the string is dollar i dollar sign i it does not print that what it print is we will see when i run this program okay so uh, yeah it prints the the length of string is uh, and instead of dollar i it puts just the value of i okay so what if i have to uh, print i have i have not defined of any value i okay and i have to print the uh, length so i have not defined i'll just make this go and yeah so now what i will do i have a string and i have to print its value and inside the string uh, i have a uh, i can i can do one thing i can just go and uh, instead of print ln i'll do here print and in the next line what i can do is i can go print ln and uh, here put i can put a dot length okay so when i run this program it will be giving an output the length of string is a dot length and which is 16 okay so it is correct but now here also it is uh, redundant and uh, uh, more of code matlab like uh, more lines are used it is redundant because we are using the print function twice so in kotlin we don't do that so what i will do is i can uh, use the string template here also but but when i use the string template without any uh, something so what happens is i'll mention just a dot length so it automatically uh, uh, insert it into curly braces okay so uh, i was trying to establish my point here the point was that uh, whenever there is an expression uh, in a string template we put it inside a curly brace okay so when i run this program it automatically puts the length of string a inside this template and we have the output as the length of string is 16 okay so that's all for this video in the next video we will be covering uh, the various type of string functions that are available in kotlin thank you very much